Hi everybody, this is FYP2 Final Project 2 Virtual Demo or Virtual Briefing on how to write FYP report using Microsoft Word template.dotx. Right, so uh, just to share with you, we have a, a lot of a template that may come from um, may come in the form of uh, with the file extension of DOCX template.dxcx but the actual template is actually come with the extension of dotx right for every uh, word files that you open or you operate or you're working at it's actually based on the template made by the uh, words which is normal.dotm so do normal.dotm is a very special template uh, it is well protected by the uh, words and the extension is dotm because there is a macro function inside it but what we're going to start with actually with the template.dotx file which is uh, will be used for the the reference of uh, any uh, or any thesis that you're going to write okay so for FYP2 uh, the faculty has uh, created uh, a new guideline thesis guideline so uh, when we call about uh, when we, uh, when we uh, call it as a guideline which means you need to follow the format the size the font size the font um, type and uh, everything inside the guideline okay so today we're going to focus on how to use the template so our writing of FYP report will be made easier we know that uh, the FYP report may consist of hundreds of pages if not uh, 50 60 70 pages with many many uh, fonts many many paragraphs many many uh, sentences that you need to deal with you also have these figure numbers you also have these table numbers to work at so it is it needs to be have a special way to deal with this long um, document so that you can easily uh, correct them you can easily work and you can focus on the content okay So before that, let's look at what is the problem of uh, using Microsoft Word for a large document. And normally we define the large documents uh, uh, if you have uh, many pages and if you have many styles in your thesis there. So what are the large documents? We can have a thesis, it can be a report, a monthly report, your financial report, you can have the article, we have a where we have a few pages six pages in maximum and then you have many many styles to use and then we also have proceedings and also the books chapter so there must be a special treat a special way to handle all this thesis so that you can uh, automate all the generation of numbers for tables for figures for the cross-referencing citations so it has a problem if you deal with a lot of uh, these uh, long documents here and uh, and also when it comes to report uh, most probably you're going to have if you have a work with a firm with any company probably you need to integrate from many many authors of the reports therefore each of the report can be I mean without a special treat uh, the report may come with a different 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 format and when it comes to integrate uh, Combine them together will be a lot of problems. So that would be the uh, problem of Microsoft Word many chapters and many authors and as I mentioned earlier When you deal with the thesis a long document then you must have a problem with the figures numbering tables numbering equation numbering citations also cross-referencing to sections so if you do it manually then it will be a problem when you change uh, or you add one figures or two figures and then you have 
adding another tables all and inside your paragraph you always refer to these figures and tables with the with the numbers so each time you add or you change the figure numbers you must also change the text or the paragraph that refer to that particular figures and numbers so if 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 you've done it in manual uh, way it will be a lot of problems so therefore if you use this technique inshallah it will uh, ease you and then you can easily automate you can easily let the f word to do the job of numbering of citation numbering equation numbering and so on so forth and then when it comes to uh, and we have to know that the problem of Microsoft Word is that we have corrections and amendment stages all the way when you uh, is a part of puzzles in uh, in producing the thesis final thesis because it must go through the correction stage and also amendment stage stage remember you have this uh, proposal and before before you can produce a proposal you must have a draft that your supervisor will read and then sometimes your supervisor is not uh, uh, satisfied enough uh, with your work then might be some corrections you have to do probably you need to repositioning of figures probably you want you have to renumbering of equations and then you have to do it again and again and again uh, manually so there must be a special trait as i mentioned again and again it must be a special way to do that all this is done automatically now remember you have this uh, uh, draft and then you submit for the examiner to um, to examine your your thesis or your uh, your tp yeah, your technical proposal your paper so there must be some corrections a uh, correction stage and then we also have this generating table of content at the end of your thesis writing you must have this generating TOC whereby you need to have a section and also the number the page number of each section so if you let the Microsoft Word to do the page numbering of each section then uh, uh, in the table of contents you'll be a lot lot easier rather than you have to jot down where this section at which page numbers and then uh, one sentence can change all the page numbers so when you go back to the toc you need to rewrite the page numbers so it must be creates a lot of problems and also the list of figures you may have a lot of figures inside your thesis therefore when you add one figures then the pages will be changed or probably the number is changed pages change and also that also happens to the tables so this is again you must have a automatic way automatically way an automatic way to deal with this list of figures and list of tables where well the charity TOC. and finally uh, formatting must follow university style so for FYP we have created the guideline or the uh, the style for the FYP so that everybody have the same uh, FYP output or the hard bound uh, to refer to so that is basically why we need uh, the technique a special technique uh, or the template so that you can overcome all this problem okay so therefore if you uh, this is uh, some uh, taken from the PhD comics uh, so normally if you take this as a pie so most of the piles of course thinking about writing a thesis is doing the research itself uh, what to write analysis everything is take the whole uh, larger chunk but when it comes to writing the thesis the amount of time that actually you're writing a thesis is only this section this portion but other than that you are actually fiddling with word whereby you're trying to get insignificant formatting details to look nice remember sometimes when you try to uh, write a paragraph you indent it and sometimes doesn't follow this uh, the, the correct indention so you have to drag all this cursor back to, to normal. so is again you take a lot of time to format a thesis yeah your report so you it might be a, 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 a standard or 
an easier way to do this. So that's why we need the template. Okay, the learning, learning outcomes of this briefing. At the end of the briefing, students are able to use advanced features and techniques in well, Microsoft Word for thesis writing. And the technique that we're going to use here is known as MZJFM. This is the um, acronym of the Muhammad Zuli Jaffa formatting method. Muhammad Zuli Jaffa is our, actually our uh, lecturer from UITM uh, Malacca. Uh, he brought this idea from his previous university from UK. So this technique has been uh, uh, copyrighted and uh, we're going to use that uh, to format our uh, for FYP report or thesis. Okay. Number two is format FYP report using template.dotx with customized styles. So what is the template.dotx? This template actually comes with a customer style that follow the guideline. Okay, this template.dx is created, is created and it, it consists of, it contains the styles that follow the guideline. Okay, so what is styles? I think most of you have um, come across when you open this Word, Microsoft Word, there is a style at the top of the menu there. Uh, heading, uh, normal, sometimes you may use it, sometimes may, you may not use it. You, you combine between use and you mix up. Sometimes you use it, sometimes you don't use it. So in this template, we're going to make full use of these styles. Styles is actually, you have to think about, uh, if you are writing a chapter, there must be a, a font size and also uh, whether it's a bold. Uh, so if you define one style for these chapter numbers, each time you want to create a new chapter numbers, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to reuse uh, or change the font, the size, and the, make it bold every time you want to use that. Uh, if we want to create the chapter numbers, why? Because you have this style for the chapter, so you just define once and then you just use it the style for all ch new chapters. And also, there uh, uh, also happens to the body paragraph or section heading. We have many section headings to write, so it, it doesn't work. It's not worth to uh, reformat, rechange the font size, and things. So you just define once, and then all the way throughout the thesis, you're going to use the style, right? So and finally, you produce thesis or final year report based on the guideline provided by FKE. And I'm going to break my uh, presentations to, uh, to four modules. The first one is going to be set your PC formatting. Uh, we will, I'm going to go through with you how to set up your PC uh, to be ready for formatting. And then module number two will be the understand style and template.dotx. Uh, here, we're going to do the I'm going to do a demo so that you can follow straight away. Yeah? And then uh, module number three will be format body thesis. And finally, as you have this one body, uh, you have already formatting your body thesis, then how to produce a full thesis ready to be sent to your supervisors. And the other four modules is actually reserved for training of trainers. Then uh, we're not going to cover that in this uh, briefing. Okay, so how to get this FKE report, guideline and Microsoft Word template? Go to the uh, website, fkeuitm.edu.my. You can uh, copy this link and then go to the link and you can download the handbook. This is the most, uh, the updated version of the handbook. Uh, in here, you can see a lot of manuals, uh, process and procedures, plus the report guideline. So this is the guideline that I mentioned earlier. You already have a guideline, so everybody must follow this. And you can also download the template using this uh, FIP report. Okay, FIP report template. So you just download from there. Make sure you download, not open. You must download the template and check the file 
it must be downloaded with the extension of DOTX. Right. So again, uh, as I mentioned earlier, MZJ formatting method is actually ideas from University of Bristol, uh, the previous university for Dr. Zuli. And then uh, we have template.dotx. And this template will be, uh, and then you're going to write the thesis, and this thesis will be based on template do OTX. Uh, whether, okay, We're talking about the, the DOTX, the template, each time you open a Word document, the Word documents there will be based, will be referred, we will refer to normal dot DOTM. This is a special or protected uh, template by Microsoft Word. If even you uh, uh, delete that normal .dotm, the next time you open your words, a new document, then a new normal .dotm will be created. So it is well protected by Microsoft Word. So therefore, if you want to create a new template based on your uh, guideline, any guideline that you have, then you must save that as a template .dot .dotx. And this is a uh, the uh, certificates from the Akta Hachita from my IPO to tell this uh, to uh, that the MZJ formatting method has been copyrighted and uh, and for us to use. The idea is you have one DOTX, one style, or we can uh, equate that as a a mold, a mold. Okay, so this. A template all these chapters if you treat one chapter one files all these chapters will be based on one template so this is the case if you want to deal with the report with one file for one chapter for each chapter so you're going to have a few chapters here separate chapters separate files and then you all these files are based on DOTX or the advanced DOTM template and then finally you're going to combine that you merge the thesis all these chapters into one uh, thesis file they are they'll be uh, uh, easy to uh, to to merge because all of these chapters are based on DOTX the same style same one. and then after that you can also extract the chapters from the merge thesis professionally i know you can copy and paste but there are uh, ways to extract professionally the merge thesis then you can have thesis number two uh, thesis number two this is number one so you, you may have a different thesis which be based on the same template here okay once you use the mzj formatting method you will have this uh, desktop appearance whereby you have on the right hand side here you have a style panes uh, this is what I just uh, uh, mentioned earlier in, in the briefing that we will fully utilize the style panes okay so this is style panes and normally that style panes appear on the top of the menu here this is where you first initially or by default the style panes appear on the top of the menu here but uh, once you use that mzj fm you will place it you will relocate it so that it will appear in the right hand side here right then you have this navigation pin navigation pane on the left hand side this is pretty much the structure of your thesis once you use the um, the styles for heading one heading two heading three then you going to see those headings will appear on the left hand side here so according to its level so you have chapter one as a level one and then the rest will be uh, the uh, chapter uh, level two level three and so on and so forth okay and uh, by using the mzj fm method technique these are few buttons which is important which you usually use you're going to use a clear all formatting this is to clear formatting uh, of any particular lines, any particular paragraph that you want to clear the formatting or the styles. For example, if you have this paragraph to be 
assigned with paragraph one one styles here you can clear the formatting uh, for example you want to clear the the font size the font types then you just hit this clear all formatting and you can also have this multi-level list uh, to define a new level so that will appear here and then you also have this paragraph marks activator i would say this is a uh, pretty again the the frequent the most button that you deal you're going to deal with you're going to uh, use while formatting your this is paragraph mark activator i think some of you may have used this paragraph marks activator All right okay then uh, just to explain a bit on the styles so in this uh, thesis in this example so chapter one introduction actually it has been assigned with chapter one heading one so if you want to create another chapter two so you just apply that chapter two with this heading one styles and then you have 1.1 background is assigned with a heading two and then you have this paragraph assigned with a paragraph one and so on so forth so this is what you're going to uh, use while using the MZJ FM method. Okay, so the ideas of that of this uh, MZJ formatting method is that you use the template.dtx to format thesis DOCX and you're going to utilize and you're going to use the developer tab. So I'm going uh, we're going to I'm going to share with you how we're going to activate this developer tab because by default you're not going to have this developer tab on uh, together with other tab default tab for example you have this uh, reference uh, what else the view tab you can see on the top of your uh, words so we're going to add this developer tab and then uh, the style pane button as I mentioned just now you need to use the style pane button style pane area and this is I think uh, not of us really aware of this shift enter so we have this special uh, shortcut key which is shift enter uh, later on we're going to see what is uh, the different what are the what this it how does it difference with the enter we have shift enter and enter and then uh, just show you the paragraph marks clear formatting button the use of back and forward button and draft and outline mode formatting so all right so module one later on i'm going to uh, uh, do the set your PC for formatting. You're going to do some formatting as uh, setting up your PC before you can proceed with the formatting uh, methods. Right. So this is module one to the to activate button for formatting to understand file extension to use two thousand one MZG formatting setup. Okay. Before that, some of basic of Microsoft Words. Uh, I'm going to share with you what are these points. I think we always refer to the size of font with points instead of centimeter, is that it? You have six points font, 12 point font rather than two millimeter font, 10 millimeter font. So, so why we use the points and what is the line spacing before and, and, and the rest of this in then. I'm going to I'm going to share with you what is indent compared to hanging, what is a paragraph marker, page break, the difference between page break and section break, and what is a page numbering, navigation pane, and so on and so forth. So let's look at what is a point, line spacing, and before after. All right, so Microsoft Word defines for one inch, there are 72 points. Okay, so if you measure one inch, there are 72 points inside it. So uh, this is actually um, the Microsoft Word want to retain uh, the typewriter, the old typewriter, the physical typewriter setting, whereby in that particular uh, uh, typewriter, we have 72 points. If you align them together, 72 points, uh, that it will measure to one inch so if you have this one inch of um, in one inch there will be 72 points 
So if the font size is 12 points, that means the font size is actually in in set in uh, matrix uh, dimensions. It is actually one six of inch. Okay, if you talk about twelve points, so font size. And uh, therefore, what is a single spacing? So for single spacing, uh, you know the the line is one uh, defined line by line. So one line, two line, three line. For we have six lines here. So if you put it as a 12 point, so it will measure from uh, the size is actually 6, 1 6 of inch from each line there. So if you use single spacing, it actually 115 to 120% of fall point size. Right? So for exactly, it will measure exactly 12 points of each point. So it will truncate it if you have more, the fall size is bigger than 12 point. You will see that line, the 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 the, the font, the word will be truncated, will be chopped off, and then we have this before and after. Before is if you have this line, that will describe what you is going to happen before the line, and after is what happens going to be after the line. So this will define the line spacing will define what is the either single spacing or exactly. Right, so this is point line spacing, and then we move to indent first and hanging. So we we'll talk about first line. This is actually where you you will put it somewhere here. Right, okay? so there is a special uh, indentation, left, right, and special. What you're going to define for the paragraph? Okay, so we can have first line. You can have a hanging and you can have a tap. For first line in the paragraph is only defined the indention of the first line. If it's a hanging, then it will define how uh, what is the spacing for the indention for the next following line. So this is the first line. Other than that, it's known as the hanging. Tap is actually from the number and your paragraph. Okay, if you trigger the paragraph marker, you're going to see this arrow to the uh, to denote or to 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 tell you that there is a text. As for the paragraph marker, so when once you activate the paragraph marker, you're going to see all the symbols appears in your text. So so that will denote if you have this. Uh, the paragraph marker sign this is to tell you that this is actually the end of line in the end of the paragraph look at this so if you dot is to in the space uh, to tell you there is a space bar and then if you have two uh, dot which means you have accidentally hit the two space bar so at the end of the paragraph you see this paragraph marker so that will tell you this is a paragraph marker, paragraph, end of paragraph. Okay, next is space, page and section break. If you look at this page layout, there are two options. It can be page break or section break. There are difference uh, between page break and section break. So page break is just a normal, you want to push everything after that cursor to the next page. But if you talk about section break, that actually you want to uh, uh, create a two section or two pages if you can think of uh, the first page can be uh, 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 can be a format as a landscape and you can have the next page the following page to be uh, portrait so if you define the section one with, which consists of a few pages of section one and you want to treat it as a portrait and then the next section section two which consists of another pages to be in landscape then you must use the section break and that also um, for the number of pages because sometimes you want to differentiate between you want to separate between Roman pages and Arabic pages. So you have to have two different sections for you to be able to do that. 
if you use a page break you are not uh, you know going to uh, successfully use this uh, separation of Roman Arabics or landscape and portrait orientation and then we have a navigation page as I uh, sh shown you before navigation page on the left hand side and then we have a text boundaries field marker and draft pane uh, this is also one of the uh, formatting uh, setup uh, formatting uh, to 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 uh, to make your computer ready for formatting you might want to activate the text boundaries where you can see the the boundary of the text is within your document and this is going to be the most uh, useful um, option that you need to put in the field shadings always this is known as a field marker so we have mentioned about automatic uh, field num uh, figure numbering uh, automatic um, list num uh, tables numbering equation numbering so if you activate the field marker you can differentiate between the numbers with the uh, coding behind it which means you use the re uh, reference you use the captions or the plain text so if you if there's a plain numbers you got you're not going to see any shading behind the numbers but if the number is actually generated by the words you'll be able to see the shade behind it and this is when you trigger or you select you choose always for your fill shadings and then uh, finally you can use this uh, draft pane so with draft pane you can see each line when you trigger the draft pane you'll be able to see the styles for each line okay this is style pane again draft pane so this is how you're going to assign each of this paragraph with the styles that you have all right now how to open a DOTX file there are two ways to open the DOTX file so I, I will write this is actually opening a dot DOTX files okay so if you are given a, a single template DOTX with a DOTX extension there will be two ways to open the file if you double click that template DOTX that means you open it as a DOCX, a normal document file, and it will refer to the template DOTX that you double click just now. So it will open as a separate file, separate document file, but the template or the reference of styles that come with that document is actually referred to the template DOTX that you double click. This is very much different if you open a new document. If you open a new document, that document will be based on the normal .dotm. Okay, but if you double click a, a template .dotx that is customized, that is that's uh, created by, for example, in this uh, FYP, you're going to have a FYP .dotx. So if you double click that FYP .dotx, you will get a new document, but it that based on the the old, uh, template that you just open all right and the other way is a right click and open so if you right click and open that dotx file that means you open its original file for example you want to make a correction or you want to add uh, another style to your template then you must use right click and open uh, then it will open as the normal uh, it will open the original file the template.dotx so this is actually for the advanced user once you become uh, advanced users once you familiar with the template and you want to amend it you want to add another style for example then you use the right click open but for now i think we we're not going to use that i mean you're not going to deal with that right click open we're not going to change anything so probably uh, we're going to use a double click so you can tell whether it open as a as a normal DOCX files or a DOTX by look by referring to the title of the 
document that you put. So it will appear in the top here. Okay, and somewhere there. So you can see this is DOTX and this is DOCX. Right? Okay, file type and view extension. I'm going to share with you how to activate that. You need to activate the file uh, extension, view extensions. Then you can see you can differentiate between the files, whether this file is DOTX or you have a DOCX files that you're going to work at. And, and that is true by activating this. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to share with you how to open that follow options and trigger to activate the. Uh, view file extension and then we have insert caption and cross referencing I think most of you have uh, known how to use this caption this is to generate again to automatically generate the numbering so look at that if you activate the fill marker just now then you'll be able to see the shading behind the numbers and also you use this cross referencing in your text to refer to that particular numbering then you will see the shading behind your plate 2.2 so uh, that means behind this shading there is a coding programming a coding it's not normal text but it's coding and it is generated by the word it is controlled by microsoft word you you did not write plate 2.2 but it is rather uh, inserted by the words Okay, this is insert caption and cross referencing. We're going to use this a lot in our thesis, whereby you are going to have a figure, you have a table that needs to be automatically generated. The uh, the the number will be automatically generated by using this insert caption. All right, this is the, what I told you just now. This is a developer tab. <coughs> so normally you don't see this developer tab, but we're going to activate that. And this is how you're going to activate that the steps to activate the developer tab from that developer tab we're going to add the template for example and if you want to amend the front page that also from the developer tab developer tab is actually reserved for the programmer those who are advanced users and then multi-level list clear or formatting clear format if you want to clear all the styles that you have assigned multi-level list is to define the the list the level of your list the numbering level so probably this time to use that multi-level list and finally the super function uh, uh, when I'm going to do I'm going to do the demo so in my demo I'm going to use this super function I, I call it a super function which is a, a built-in uh, code inside your word to randomly look at it to generate random number of paragraphs with certain numbers of sentences this programming line can be used in Microsoft Word provided must be typed at the beginning of a fresh line so I'm going to do a lot of a uh, demo so uh, rather than I uh, copy and paste any text from the internet from it, I would rather generate a random paragraph how by using this random super function so just just type the equal sign r a n d uh, uh, in bracket x and y so x will define how many paragraphs that you're going to generate and sentences in that paragraph in one paragraph how many sentences that you want to automatically generate generate so so this will be the super function that i'm going to use a lot and this is the idea of mzj formatting method again uh, microsoft office of 2010 and above it may work with windows 7 but then you face out now word option developer tab and repeat it again and this is how you want to show the file extension with windows 7 by using Windows 10 you just uh, click this uh, the view option here so if you go to the view for options and you just tick that file name extension then you can be able to show the extension of your file straight away and this is about your cursor if you want to uh, left, let's have a look ah, compatibility mode uh, i think um if you have to understand that when one file is uh, created with the lower 
version of Microsoft Word, uh, you might have a problem when you open it with the higher version of Microsoft Word. So once uh, the file that have that compatibility mode will appear when you open that file, you will see this warning compatibility mode beside your file name. Okay. But I have to change the color. So document compatibility mode. That means your document that you opened just now is actually created by the lower version, which the one that you have now. So you must convert that first before you proceed. So how to convert that? You just go to the home file, then you might see these two uh, um, this convert button. Just hit that convert button, and then your document will be upgraded to the current version of your uh, Microsoft Word. So this is Microsoft Office 2010, and if you have a Microsoft Office 2013, that, that will be the convert. Here. So you just simply go to File, and then automatically you see this Convert button will appear. Just hit that button, and uh, then it will be uh, converted into the uh, the the version that you have in your laptop or PC. Okay, again, this is develop tab. Uh, this is a procedure to attach a blank document, a blank document, and you want to replace that with a customized template.dotx. This is where you're going to attach that through the developer tab. Right? And in this demo, uh, we would rather use the other technique, which is you're going to use the template itself. You just double click. And it will open as a DOCX, and then you're going to use that uh, new document which is based on the template, FYP template, and then you're going to delete and then you add your document, your thesis inside that. Uh, this is actually the technique if you have a blank document, then you want to attach the template into that particular fresh document, right? And then we have this quick access toolbar and shortcut key. Uh, you might want to activate a few toolbar so to speed up your pro uh, formatting. For example, you have undo, redo. This toolbar actually appear on the top of this of your uh, words. So you can also bring that down to the bottom here, and then you can add more, uh, more additional toolbar. Uh, that we're going to show later on. Yeah, so what are the additional toolbar that you can add in and shortcut keys. And finally for the module one preventive step of course you might you it is uh, highly recommended that you have this uh, backup. You can have this Google Drive installed with you so that you will be sync. So your your uh, your file is always have a backup somewhere using Google Drive or Dropbox, we can have an auto save for words to auto save your files and then you can have a backup and buy more high quality hard disk if you like. Right?